Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I really just have a quick question. I need to know if this is going on in other parts of the United States with the schools, okay? I was very shocked to see that, um, well, basically, you know, I've been an advocate of homeschooling for quite some time and had done so. And, um, well, actually I hadn't. So let me, let me change that because my children was always just going to, you know, regular school and all that stuff for some time. And then when COVID happened, everybody was indoors. And then they, when they were trying to get them back into school, they were just, they had like kids huddled, like five students at this one little table. And then they were checking their foreheads as they're coming in and they had to walk a certain line and they couldn't play with each other at recess but yet when they're in the classroom they were just all packed together at a table and then there were just some other things going on so I was like all right look we'll just continue with the homeschooling so of course I was going through this this great online school that was just amazing just amazing all right and but you know kiddos you know, specifically my son wanted to just get back out there and he likes the hustle and bustle of getting up and going to school and getting around. Of course, my daughter, she was like, it didn't matter to her, but we went with that and we started again. Now, keep in mind, I, they have been with this online program for quite some time. I'm talking about the lesson plans are all laid out the manuals are there the instructions are there they can refer back to their manual review all of that and then they go to school and okay they've all been issued a chromebook which is supposed to have all their lessons in there but guys i am shocked to see that in middle school they had no textbooks no books Okay, so I'm like, okay, maybe they're ebooks. Maybe if I go look in their Chromebooks, I'm going to see an ebook. I'm going to see their math book. I'm going to see their notes. Nothing like that. So they have to make sure they write their own notes. Okay, and when it's time to study, okay, they're just going to study whatever they wrote down off the board, but they have no books, guys. No no lessons they can't go under their let's say it's an english class and you're going you i would expect that they'll be able to click on the english manual and then module i mean and then go in and see the lesson that was taught for that day they will be able to compare their notes that they wrote down to those to the lessons and maybe add whatever they forgot no nothing like that is there when it's time for them to get a test or study, I'm like, okay, where's your, we're relying completely on their notes. And then there is no, nothing. There, there are no modules in these systems for them to look at and study or reference. I have found a lot that we had to go online. As a matter of fact, a lot of them have to do that. They go on math with Mr. J for their math to review because nothing, the Chromebook is basically just houses the assignments. It houses maybe uh, unit assignments that's due, what's past due if applicable. And oh my gosh, man, it's insane. And then they keep getting these tests all the time. They keep getting these you know state tests this is required this test is required and in the meantime i'm looking at the lessons like this is so minuscule like where are your science books where are your math textbooks where what is going on even when i was taking college classes guys we had books and if we didn't have books they had ebooks and you could go in and you could look in the manual and see what's what these are middle school kids that are sort of being, in my opinion, they're just being pushed through quickly. I don't think that they're getting quality lessons, all right? they It's like they learn something Monday, a new subject. 
and then maybe they're going to test them on Wednesday and then on Thursday they're going to introduce something new and if they don't understand it well they're going to just have to catch up and it seems that they're very quick to to label your child as oh they're not learning quickly enough or something like that but I'm like no y'all are going too fast y'all are going too fast you understand I understand they're they're children that can just get it okay uh and I see like with my children they're stronger in one area than another okay like my son he can figure out like with math and uh just just certain topics and science and stuff he likes that okay my my daughter she's a little bit it takes her a little while with a math she has to do a few tries and but with english and things like that she's going with flying colors so what i have them to do sometimes if they don't want me to be the one to help i'm like hey you're stronger in this topic or this subject and you are good at it so you help your brother and you know i'll talk to my son you're better at this than your sister so you help your sister and if you get to a point where you guys don't understand it then i come in i try to do that and i think they prefer that but guys i am totally shocked i want to know is this going on wherever you guys are at because i'm thinking if they're just pushing these kids through so fast they're teaching them something really quickly and then they're moving them on to the next lesson and then if you don't get it oh well you just don't get it i'm sure that the school's going to do whatever they can but they have to they have to move on to the next thing and then there are no textbooks guys no textbooks no manuals in the, the the laptops that they're giving them and then they're always being tested and when i looked at the lessons okay they get like five questions or four questions, guys. Just four things. So if they have math, they're just solving four problems. Okay, I could understand that sometimes quantity versus quality. You don't want to overwhelm the child. I've, I've always said that. You don't want to overwhelm the child by giving them so much that they get tired. But if you combine that with no textbooks, nothing for them to study, it just feels like we're getting like knockoff education. So, you know, I talk to them and I'm like, look, I know you guys want to get out there and you guys want to do all these different things. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you about the test. So if you have a four or five question test, how many can you miss? OK, so one day I'm looking and I see that, um, you know, one of my children got off 50 percent and I'm like, oh, my gosh, what's going on? Oh, I'm like, show me this test. So I'm thinking 50% out of 20 questions or something like that. Or whatever, 100. Well, it wouldn't be 100, but you know, just when I look, they have four questions, guys. That means they got two out of two. So if you only have five questions, you cannot, you, you, you cannot... In order to pass, you can only you can only miss one question. I don't know, man. I'm just like I don't understand. I'm I don't understand why the and this is not like a you know, this is supposed to be a good school. So, I don't know. I'm looking at them like, guys, we may have to go back to homeschooling because what I told them, what's more important to me than just the going to school and, hey, high five with your friends is ensuring that you guys are getting the best education. Because when they were homeschooling, they were like A students. Like, they wanted to put them in honors classes and everything. But... The thing is, they have to they have to be taught. You know, they were able to work at a certain pace that ensured that they understood the lessons before they went on to the next thing. So that was the beauty of of the the the, the, the program I used. And what I used was a cellus. It's called a cellus. This is not a 
any sort of advertising, but I'm just telling you, A-C-E-L-L-U-S. And they go from elementary school up to up to uh, high school, okay? Um, so you guys can check that out, but it was excellent. I love that they had, it was just so nice. I loved it. I'm like, am I spoiled? You know, have I been out of the game for too long? When did this happen? And because when they were in middle school, I'm sorry, when they were ele in elementary school, I'm pretty sure I saw some books, okay? They would come home with these thick workbooks that they had to work in. Now they're in middle school, I'm like, where are your books? I think my daughter, or I think my son, they had one book and I think that was for science, I think, it was this big fat workbook, which I'm like, hey, bring home your workbooks and then we can look and see what's what you have something to study those that's what those textbooks and workbooks are you you read you study you see the formulas you see how things work you get they have some exercises that you can work on men i don't know i don't know i told them look we we have to pull up because they're not in elementary school anymore. And I'm like, once you hit high school, everything is fast paced and everything counts in high school because now they're looking at your grade point average. They're gonna look at everything when it comes for college. You know, elementary school and middle school, you can kind of goof off a little bit, I guess, sort of. But I, I just get this feeling like if everything is so blase, and it's, there's so little put into it, I feel like they'll struggle in high school and they'll definitely struggle in college, you know? So, I don't know, I talked to them and I said, I'm gonna keep monitoring your grades, I'm gonna see how things go, but if not, we're gonna have to pull up, we're gonna put y'all right back onto that homeschool so that you guys can have a quality education, okay? Because they were getting that quality education. And what I liked about the program is that you get the lessons and then you there they get you get tested, but they, they're not gonna move you on to the next part of the lesson until they know you've mastered this part. So if you're learning certain things in math, they they're instead of just giving you a whole bunch of things at once, they give you the lesson in these small bits and ensure you understand it. And you know, a lot of times schools are so quick to schools are so quick to diagnose children with this or that oh they got ADHD they got this this that da, 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 da. I'm like you know maybe that child just learns differently a lot of times the teachers only know one way to teach okay and then they're just like oh they, they want to just put your kids on some pills or put your child in some special class when all that child need is time. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to be understanding also to the teachers because teachers are being disrespected so much. And I think a lot of them are tired, even the good ones. You have teachers that don't care for the kids. You know, my daughter tells me about this teacher who seems to just have a bad day every day and irritated, but sometimes they're underpaid, overworked, and then they're being disrespected. They're not held in the esteem that they should be held in. But sometimes they only know one way to teach your child, you know? And again, another thing that I was telling me about too, just kids talking back to the teacher and all of that. I'm like, how is this even happening? So there's so many things that I'm thinking about. You know, I know they enjoy it, especially my son. He likes to just get up and go and get ready and he, he flourishes in that. My daughter, she's more quiet. She doesn't mind, you know, homeschooling. And I get that. So for me, I'm trying to figure out that balance, you know? Um, I mean, there are extracurricular activities and things that they're doing or whatever, but I think he likes the school environment and the buildings. But for me, I'm looking at the bigger picture. I'm like, I know that you're looking at the fun side of it and seeing your friends, but I'm looking at it from the fact that it seems to be very menial. So 
The only other option that I could think of, and I spoke to them about that, is putting them back to private school. And but of course, in like the uniforms and all of that. I don't know. Please give me your opinions, guys. Can y'all tell me if you if your middle schooler or high school student are do they have books? Is there any reason why that is happening? I don't think it's normal. I've mentioned it to the school. It's just weird, okay? And for me, I'm in this catch-22 of, okay, I know that my son wants to be out. I know this is good for them. Um, but I don't want them to fail. And for the first time in my life, even though this is supposed to be a good school, I'm just like, how is that possible? How do y'all not have books? How do you not have... Um, if if you're going paperless, why aren't there ebooks in the computer on your on your Chrome? Why why don't you have a manual? Why don't you have modules that you can go back to? So tell me, guys, are y'all experiencing that as well? And what what advice would you give, if any? All right, guys, bye.